For years, I've been trying to figure out how the chain stitch attachment on the 400 series works. So you can see here this, and then you've got the bobbin part, which has that actual little rate, uh, little bit on the race, which doesn't exist on the non-chain stitch machine. So just that little bit there, and this plate here. But it, call me a bit slow at times, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a look and try and figure this out. And in the end, I finally figured out how the chain releases. And it's based on the movement of the feet. So if you look here, when I spin this, you'll see the, the, the feed dogs come up. That's what actually releases it. And I'll show you in another video camera, but if I tip this up, what you'll see is that movement is restricted by the feed dog. So you see how that sits on there. And when the feed dogs pull forward, that's what releases the chain. So that's really interesting. So I'll show you it up a little closer up one second. I'm getting closer to having this working, but it was really obvious you can see how there, and then when the feed dogs move forward, it's a bit, it's a little imperfect right at the moment, but it will release, and that's what I'm working on, is just making the last adjustments to that, and then maybe I'll have it, and that will, I'll put it on the other, the 400 series, rather than the 431 series, as well, once I figure this out.